Raider Nation, what's going on? It's me. No, it's not. It's me, Jeremy Chuggs, filling in for Mitch while he's on vacation. Bon voyage, senior Renz. And we have a great show stacked up for you today. We're going to be talking about whether or not I would love to trade for Hassan Reddick or Brandon Ayuk in today's video. I hope everybody's having a great Valentine's Day. But before we get started, a couple news and notes around Raider Nation going the past couple of days. This one first coming in from Ian Rappaport. Yesterday, the Raiders are hiring James Craig as their new offensive line coach. Sources said the former 49ers assistant O-line coach also previously coached at LSU. So that is news item number one. Raiders getting a new O-line coach this season, which a lot of news and notes around that. They have three free agents who started for them last season. It's going to be really interesting to see who they bring back, who they don't bring back, and who they decide to fill in those roles for center, right guard, and right tackle. And the other news and note coming today from ML Football, the Raiders and coaching assistant slash returners coach Danny Amendola have parted ways. Amendola, a two-time Super Bowl champion, impressed many in the Vegas building as the season went on. So looks like Amendola not going to be a part of the Antonio Pierce coaching staff moving forward. Just wanted to give you some updates through the past couple of days because Mitch hasn't been in the office and obviously have a lot more stuff going on. But before we get into our trade talk, I want to ask you folks at home, what is the most memorable Raiders game for you of all time? When you think about Raiders games that you've watched, maybe the Raiders games that you've been to, what's one that sticks out in your memory? You're like, damn, I will always remember that game. For me, maybe a chalk answer, maybe an easy answer. The absolute thrashing that they put on the Chargers this season, putting up 63. I will always remember watching that game in awe. And the Jack Jones interception, the huh, going right past the line of scrimmage, that was incredible. But I want to hear from you folks at home. Let me know. What is the most memorable Raiders game of all time, in your opinion, as we get right into the trade discussion around Brandon Ayuk? Could the Raiders trade for Brandon Ayuk after he showed some displeasure with the 49ers following Super Bowl 58? And don't take my word for it. A lot of people from Ayuk's camp have talked and kind of spoke out after Super Bowl 58, one being his brother slash best friend. He said this on IG. This is the exact reason why we leave in San Francisco. Thank you, 49ers, for drafting my brother. We are forever grateful. Look at that last part on that. BA to Vegas. BA to Vegas. Also, he also added after the Super Bowl, why does your all-pro 1,300-yard receiver have three catches in the Super Bowl? Which, I mean, good point, good point. But, I mean, that last part, BA to Vegas with the Raiders flag, I mean, that's telling enough, right? That's telling enough that his camp – is already looking at Brandon Ayuk to move to the Las Vegas Raiders. And not just his best friend, but also his girlfriend chimed in later on, said it might be the last time we step foot in Levi's Stadium because we might not be here next season. Very interesting to say the least. People all around Brandon Ayuk are speculating that he's going to be traded or leaving the 49ers this offseason. So, of course, we got to break it down here on the Raiders report because – I mean, Ayuk to Vegas? That would be a hell of a one-two punch. You have Devontae Adams on one side, Brandon Ayuk on the other. The only kind of snafu with this. It would likely cost a first-round pick, and you'd have to extend him at around $20 million a year. So not cheap. Not, not cheap by any stretch of the imagination to go get Brandon Ayuk and add him onto this Las Vegas Raiders roster. But I ask you folks at home, should the Raiders trade for Brandon Ayuk? Give me a yes, give me a no down in the comments section. This is actually going to be the pinned comment on today's video. So you get hit with the YouTube ad break. Perfect timing. Just scroll on down and let me know, should the Raiders trade for Brandon Ayuk? Uh, I'm going to go Randy Jackson. It's a no for me, dog. Uh, for a first rounder, I think that's a little bit too rich for my blood. If it's a second rounder, I maybe consider it. And even then, I don't know because the Raiders have a lot of holes that they need to fill on defensive and offensive line this offseason. Depending on what happens in free agency and in the draft, I don't know if Brandon Ayuk is going to add that next level, especially when you have a guy like Devontae Adams. You have Jacoby Myers. I'm really interested to see what Trey Tucker does in year two, along with Michael Mayer at the tight end spot. So for a first rounder and spending that money, 
it's a no for me. But it would be tempting because, I mean, look at his numbers right here. Over 1,000 yards the past two seasons, 1,300, over 1,300 yards this year, over 1,000 last year, seven and eight touchdowns. He has gotten better each and every single year that he's been with the 49ers. And we look at his advanced stats in 2023, second in yards per catch at 17.9, second in yards per target at 12.8. The PFF grade, he was number two as well at 91.5. I mean, this dude is an absolute baller. And not to mention the ties. We always talk about the ties with Antonio Pierce and players in the NFL. And Ayuk has maybe one of the strongest ties of them all because he was with not only Antonio Pierce, but also assistant Marvin Lewis at Arizona State. So they were all buddy-buddy down there in Tempe. Could we see the reunion in Las Vegas later this offseason? We'll keep you updated with the latest news and rumors around Brandon Ayuk and the Las Vegas Raiders. Another reason why you hit that sub button, we're bringing you videos every single day of the year. Mitchell Renz, 365. Jeremy Chuggs, I guess, 10 for the couple days that I'm filling in for him. But go down and hit that sub button if you want daily Raiders news and rumors. And coming up in just a moment, we're going to be talking about another trade rumor, this time around Eagles pass rusher Hassan Reddick. Could he be heading to Las Vegas to pair with Max Crosby? We'll break that down in just a moment. But, fellas, heart to heart here. Did you forget about Valentine's Day? Be honest. Did you forget it? It's okay because I have a foolproof plan for you right now with our awesome sponsor, Game Time. Download the Game Time app and use code RaidersChat for $20 off. And, hey, if you didn't get anything for your loved one for Valentine's Day, this is a perfect, you know, fall safe, safety net backup plan. Go on the Game Time app, and they have last-second tickets at the lowest prices guaranteed. You can go to a comedy show. You can see whatever concerts are in your area, what shows are going on. Maybe you go to a sporting event tonight. All of that available with Game Time, and we're hooking you up with $20 off for new users with our code RaidersChat. So go check them out today. Download the Game Time app and use code RaidersChat for $20 off. It's the lowest price guaranteed on last second tickets, game time. Go check them out today. Now, breaking down Hassan Reddick. There's been some conflicting reports over the past couple days whether or not the Eagles will trade Hassan Reddick. Let's break that down right here. First up, from Ian Rappaport saying, Eagles All-Pro edge rusher Hassan Reddick has received permission to seek a trade following another disruptive season featuring double-digit sacks. A 29-year-old with 27 sacks over the past two seasons could, uh, in Philadelphia, could land elsewhere. Where I saw this and I went, whoa, Eagles are trading Hassan Reddick. They're kind of pushing him out the door. They're saying, we're good. Hassan, you can go find another team. We don't want to extend you. We don't want to pay you, but not so fast. This coming in from Jordan Schultz. He said, just spoke to Eagles All-Pro pass rusher Hassan Reddick, who tells me, he never requested a trade and wants to stay in Philadelphia. This coming from Hassan himself. He said, I would like to get an extension done here at home. At no point did I ever tell the organization I want to be traded. Jordan Schultz went on to say, Reddick has one year left on his deal with no guaranteed money left. And this coming from Hassan Reddick once again, this is home for me. I was born and raised here. Two of the most fun years playing football in my life came here. I've cherished being an Eagle. So... I kick it back to you folks at home. What do you think? Do you think it's all just smoke and mirrors? Or do you think he's really on his way out? What say you? Will Hassan Reddick leave the Eagles this offseason? Type S for stay, type L for leave. Let me know down in the comment section your prediction on what will happen with Hassan Reddick. At the end of the day, I think this is just all a, a play to get a new contract. I really don't think Hassan Reddick is on the move anywhere else in the league. I don't think he's going to get traded. I think this is just kind of like a back and forth little tennis volley match between him and the Eagles front office saying, I'll be traded. Okay, go ahead and be traded. No, I want to stay. Okay, we'll pay you. This, that's kind of the back and forth that I think is going on between the Eagles and Hassan Reddick right now. As we look at his stats, he's absolutely exploded onto the scene for the Eagles these past two years. Last year had 16 sacks, 11 tackles for loss, and this year not too shabby, 11 sacks and 13 tackles for loss. And don't get me wrong, I would love to see Reddick in silver and black paired up with Max Crosby. I think that would be easily the best pass rush duo in the entire National Football League. But what's the cost? I think it would cost around a second round pick to trade for Hassan Reddick. And 
you'd have to extend him on top of that. So you're giving up draft capital and you're going to be spending money on this guy. So at the end of the day, I don't really know if that's the best move for the Raiders, especially when you have a good up and coming pass rusher who you can extend for much cheaper in Malcolm Coons. He had a great year this past season with eight sacks. I mean, why not extend Malcolm Coons? And he played his best ball whenever Antonio Pierce took over. So I've been saying for the past year, you move Tyree Wilson into a defensive tackle. He plays that three technique. He can slide outside from time to time when needed, but you scoot him in. You get Malcolm Coots on that other edge, rush, edge rushing spot opposite of Max Crosby, and you go out and you get a legit nose tackle, a legit defensive tackle to pair with Tyree Wilson. And I think this Raiders defensive line could be one of the best in the entire NFL, even without Hassan Reddick. If you just went out and extended Malcolm Coots for the foreseeable future. I think that would be the best option, in my opinion, for the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, that's all I have for you on today's video. If any other breaking news happens while Mitch is gone, go follow me on Twitter, at Jeremy Chugs. I'll be giving you the latest Raiders news and rumors throughout the week while Mitch is gone on vacation. Hope you're having a good one, Mitch. I know you're probably watching this video. Uh, go eat a croissant for me, if you could. A, a croissant, if you, if, uh, if you do say so yourself. Also, if you haven't already, what are you doing? Go subscribe to the Raiders Report, youtube.com slash Raiders Report. We're the number one Raiders YouTube channel out there for good reason. We're giving you daily videos, weekly live shows. Go hit that sub button and join the nation today.